With these lyrics, they've managed to create a real scandal. The group is Stefan and 3G, and this is their controversial disco number. It's not quite seven in the morning, and the pop singers from Georgia are barely awake. They've been on the road for days. Tbilisi, London, and now the Lithuanian capital, Vilnius. It seems all of Europe wants to hear their song. In an appearance on early morning television, once again comes the question they keep hearing. Is this really a song against Vladimir Putin? The song is about having fun. It's about music, not about being negative. We like the song and we love singing it. But the Kremlin has reacted with indignation. Putin's spokesman calls it musical hooliganism. The Georgian band has become an overnight sensation. Their video celebrates the song's premiere. The journalists are waiting for the part that says something else but sounds like we don't want a Putin. We don't want a Putin. It's a double meaning that the Georgians presumably were well aware of. When you take part in a competition, you have to make sure you stand out. So after the Russian-Georgian conflict, this was the song we decided to take to Moscow. Back at the hotel, for Taco, Cristina and Nino, the Eurovision Song Contest was their chance to make it big, even while there was doubt on the home front. My friends and my family, uh, they want me to go and to sing the song in Moscow, but um, most are scared a little bit, so they don't want me to go there. But I really want to, want it. There are very bad, very bad articles in newspapers and in, t in the internet, so I'm not afraid. I'm really, I'm really ready now to go there and sing this. I'm not afraid. Meanwhile, preparations for the big event are continuing in Moscow. A song mocking Putin would be almost unimaginable here. And besides that, competition rules prohibit entries with political content. That gave the organizers justification for disqualifying the group from Georgia. Last year's winners from Russia agree with the decision. I have to say I personally wouldn't want to call attention to myself by creating a scandal. I wouldn't lie down and let myself be run over. I'd rather become popular because of my music. There's even been a musical response from Russia. Alexander Smirnov has always wanted to do something funny on the Internet. Now he's produced a song in which he indirectly calls for the firing of Georgian President Saakashvili. Sack the cash, sack the cash, sack cash, Vili. Like other Russian singers, I don't think Putin actually cared about the Georgian song. I personally would have let the group perform here in Moscow. Then we could have let the audience be the judge, see how they reacted, seen whether they even liked the song. <laughs> Stefan and 3G won't get this chance in Moscow, but they may have it somewhere else. Final preparations before their appearance on Lithuanian television. A European tour is already planned. And so the whole scandal may just turn out to be the best publicity the young musicians from Georgia could possibly get.